The FIFA 23 World Cup promo is finally here. And with it, there are loads of things that you can do right now within Ultimate Team that will give you loads of coins, loads of players, and loads of packs. And if you take the time to do some very simple tasks, you'll be in a much better position. But before we do get into the video, if you're looking to get some very easy coins, then there is no better place than AOA. Head over there to get yourself some cheap, fast FIFA 23 coins, completely reliable. And if you use Fnatic at checkout, you also get yourself a 3% discount. Link can be found in the description down below. Nice. This year is slightly different when it comes to the World Cup. Normally in previous FIFAs with FIFA 18 and FIFA 14, EA released a completely new game mode, a new ultimate team. It didn't have a transfer market and the only way that you could get players were by playing games or buying them from the store. This year, the game mode doesn't exist. Everything is going to be a promo within Ultimate Team itself. And this opens up more opportunity for you to continuously progress whilst taking advantage of the latest promo. And there's a very easy way to do it. You really should be looking at your objectives. Right now, there are several objectives which you can go through, which will progress in different ways for foot. Each of them giving you rewards, whether you use them to go through SBCs or you use them to go and use the World Cup players. For completing every single one of these, you get a reward, which is much better than what we've had within season one. So firstly, let's look at swaps. Swaps, of course, is nothing new. We've had them within previous FIFAs, but this is the time in which we get them for the World Cup. And I would say that these are probably the best swap promos that we've ever had. There are loads of different options available. So depending on how much time you dedicate to this will really depend on what type of reward you can get, but it really doesn't need to be that much time put into the game. For those that don't know how swaps work, it's a mixture between SBCs and objectives. You'll initially have an objective which will require you with a very specific task. It may be to get six assists with Jack these players with through balls and even though that isn't necessarily difficult as it can be played on squad battles or in division rivals it just means that you need to know that that objective is a thing so that you can actually get the players in place for your team and there will be loads of different objectives like this some getting through balls some getting goals whatever it is it really doesn't matter all you need to know is that they're there and that you should really be going through them after completing these challenges you may get a pack reward but more importantly you'll get a swap item now on the surface it doesn't look like anything special these players are not high rated they have no special stats but what they can be used for is swaps sbcs there are particular type of sbcs which will require you to get a certain amount of these swaps these challenges don't take into consideration what normal SBCs do. So it doesn't matter about chemistry. It doesn't matter about rating. It doesn't matter about having a particular type of player from a league or nation or even a team. It just matters that they're swaps and you can place them in any order, but the amount of swaps that you have will dictate the type of reward that you'll get at the end. So there are some very basic ones which only require you to have two swap tokens. This means you only need to complete two challenges, whereas others may require you to have 30 35 maybe even 40 you can actually build to get some amazing rewards on that higher end so if you did get 30 tokens you can get kafu as a reward at 35 tokens you can get a world cup icon player pick one of three and at 40 tokens you can get a world cup icon patrick vieira 90 rated now personally i'm really trying to go for that vieira more than anything but for a lot of other players they don't necessarily have the time to go and get 40 tokens you don't need to you can still get rewards during that mid tier i don't recommend going for those very small ones which only require you to get two or three but if you did get 20 overall world cup swap tokens you can get all the 84 plus player packs and if you did claim all of them that's 60 times 84 plus players now of course a lot of them will be duplicates but if history has anything to tell us it's likely that you're going to get something good out of these they've always been good in every other fifa and this year with the amount of rewards available i'm hoping that this would be just as good this is an incredibly easy way for you to progress through ultimate team without you need to go into the sweatiest of game modes do all of this within squad battles and you'll find it incredibly easy don't need to get 40 tokens, but you can get quite a few out of them and it will give you a good reward. 
but it's not the only way in which you can exploit Ultimate Team. You may have noticed that there is a new type of World Cup card which is available for all the players participating within the World Cup, even though their stats are no different to their normal cards. These are the World Cup players, and these play a very important role to the Ultimate Team collection. You'll notice within the menu that on the right, there is a Qatar World Cup option. Once you select that, it will show you levels going from one all the way down to 10. And for you to achieve each of these levels, you need to collect a certain amount of these World Cup players. And for you to get all the way down to 10, you need to get 750, which does sound like a lot. But bear in mind, we have about 50 days, depending when you're watching this video, for you to achieve this. And on top of that, there is a very easy way in which you can get about two to 300 players. When I say that it's easy, I mean it only takes about two or three games. If you head back over to your objectives, you'll realize that there are challenges which require you to get one player from each nation to score just one goal. And for every single nation, there is a pack reward, and this pack reward will give you a minimum of six World Cup players, and it's for every single nation. What's really cool is that these game modes can be played in division rivals as well as squad battles. It's nothing in particular. So what you can do is put together a team, a team which is nothing fancy, just gets one player from each nation which is listed within these challenges and place them into a start and 11. You don't want to have more than one player from each nation, otherwise it's going to take longer for you to go through this. Once you have a full start and 11, it's also worth going through your bench and doing the exact same thing one player from each nation from the challenges which are available. You'll then go over to squad battles, select semi-pro and then go into a game. With this, it should be incredibly easy for you to win. But you don't just want to win, you want to make sure that you're scoring a goal from each nation. And it may be confusing, so what I do is I'll score most likely with my first striker and then I will pause game, go into my team and then move my striker down to right back because I know I don't need to get a goal with him anymore. And then I'll keep on going through this. The next person to score will be my right centre back, the person after will be my left centre back and it'll keep on going until it's my left back, right mid, centre mid, centre mid, left mid, striker striker and then i've got all my players the only one that's challenging is that i do need to score with a goalkeeper once all of that is done that is when i can then go into my bench and then go and bring on the players that i then need to go and use of course can't use all of them but i will be able to bring on a few more and then as soon as that's done i just need to wait out the rest of the game by the time the game has finished you should have around 14 15 different rewards that you will be able to claim from your objectives this is through just general objectives available for you to go in through squad battle matches scoring a certain amount of goals and more importantly you have all the world cup players you'll go through all of them claim all of those and then you'll do the exact same thing again for all the nations that you didn't score with or you missed out on that initial team really it should only be taken two or three games and once you go through all of these you'll have around 200 to 300 players and it's definitely worth going through because if you can get to that level 10 750 world cup players which does include duplicates they don't all need to be first owner and stored within your club from this you'll be able to get the rewards from each tier which really builds up right at the beginning nothing too special you'll get rewards of players rated between 80 to 84 but eventually it'll build to a 45k pack an 80 plus pack, an 83 plus pick, an 81 plus pack, and also a 100k pack, all for getting these players, which really aren't difficult to get. And it's likely that we'll get even more challenges like this as this is right at the beginning and you can already get to two to 300 of these players. So this really should be a goal, which is easy to achieve, even if you're not putting money into the game. And once you have completed these objectives, you can take it a step further by actually going through foot moments. And with foot moments, I did go through this within season one. Unfortunately, the rewards that were available, some of them were okay. The rest just weren't worth it. So I ended up building up a lot of these first stars the second that the world cup mode came out and there was loads available i went through several packs but in here you can get world cup player packs for just 10 stars which is incredibly easy to get and it's set for each nation and there's multiple of them if you spend just an hour or two going through this you will be able to get halfway to the amount of these players that are needed 
And I truly believe anyone can get these players, no matter your skill level or how much time you can dedicate to the game. It really isn't too difficult. And to get all of these rewards, you don't even need to be playing online. This is for the World Cup players, all the swaps, all the other general World Cup challenges which will be available over the next 50 days. Most of them, you do not need to go and play online. For a lot of them, they can be done within squad battles and you can select the difficulty. I think EA are allowing you to go as low as semi-pro. If you go and play these games and complete the requirements on semi-professional difficulty, you will still be rewarded. And that's what I recommend most players to do because this is the easiest way in which you can exploit Ultimate Team right now. If you do have any questions about anything, then please feel free to leave them in the comment section down below. But anyway, guys, I hope you guys did enjoy. If you did enjoy, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. But for now, I'm going to see you.